Welcome back everyone, this is your host Jack from Hypercycle. Today I would like to present to you our brand new Hypercycle Explorer that is ready to be shown to the public. So let's get to it. All right, so here is the main page of the Hypercycle Explorer. As you can see, we are using the same color codes and designs that we have on the tab, so it should look familiar to you. Um, you can see that all the blocks have been reporting and I can track down all the blocks down to the first change these blocks if I want to. Uh, I just click on the last page and I can see that the block height number one is reporting the first uh, Genesis block that was emitted two years ago. And we are now at uh, block uh, 57, 48, 12 and live and running. So this is cool. You can also notice that the blocks are reporting on a hourly basis at the moment because we have chosen to go with a consolidated view of uh, the data of the network because there are so many data that we, we have to retrieve at, at every block that we wanted to be sure to fetch uh, everything properly. And our goal is to basically increase the granularity of the, of the Explorer uh, as we go, as we add and implement more data, such as um, the node scores that uh, we are planning uh, on uh, adding to the to the Explorer very soon. Uh, so you will be able to click on your license and also see how far or how close you are to generate uh, the first unlocking event for, for your license, meaning how far you are to creating new child nodes. Uh, originating from your original uh, you know, node, granted uh, you have been telling, uh, of course. So you can see, for example, I, I'm tracking down this license. Uh, it says it's on mainnet. Uh, I can also track uh, licenses on testnet, for example, but let's keep uh, the demonstration on mainnet. You can see the amount of um, um, uptime, downtime, total uptime uh, expressed in hours, you can see, for example, this uh, license has been emitted on Cardano. Uh, so you can guess that this one, one of the original licenses that were uh, distributed and sold by Hypercycle back in the days. Uh, this license is still live. As you can see, um, we can track down how, how long it's been live and not live due to some hiccups in the in the uptime. This is part of the of the of the game, of course. So that means that whenever you have a license and you want to check how it's uh, behaving on the network, you can also go to this explorer and you can see in this drop down little card here, you can select licenses and then you can enter your license ID and you will see what's happening on it. You won't have to uh, ask the support uh, or or even go to the app to, to check. You can do it uh, like freely, totally uh, on, on the Explorer. I can show you, for example, uh, one of my uh, licenses that I have on this wallet. Uh, you can see that right now on the DAP, there is a slight hiccup. The data is not fetched properly. So what happens? Should, should I go to the support or should I go to the Explorer, right? So I'm going to choose to go to the Explorer. I'm going to copy paste uh, my license ID. And I can see that uh, the Explorer is uh, just found my license. Uh, I can see the block. I can see the number of heartbeats. So if I click on it, I can check that my license has been live until eight days ago. And I know exactly why, because I've been using an, this license to play with a new uh, new HTS uh, features that we are working on. So this was disconnected uh, a week ago, exactly. But before that, it was uh, it was live all, all the time. So I can check by myself what's happening. And I'm not depending on the data from HTS reporting properly uh, on the DAP because sometimes it, it doesn't work and we have to wait. But at least I can check if uh, my license is running properly here. So this is a public tool that everyone can use now. And we will, of course, share the link to you in a, in a few days uh, when everything is properly, completely refined. Um, so you can either check on the blocks and see how many licenses are live on the network, 
not something you would use every day, right? I don't think that's important for you as a user to see how many licenses are reporting to the network, are pinging the network basically, but you can do that. And if you want to see what's happening uh, on the network overall, and you want to understand how people are engaging with the network, are creating the node factories, you can click on the stats, stats page. And you can see many information there. Uh, of course, you have the total HYPC supply uh, that is not going to move. Um, but you can see also how many HYPC have, have been deployed into nodes. Um, and you can see two, two numbers, basically. You have the swap V1 number, which represents basically the, the EDP program. Uh, so all the master nodes that were originally um, plugged to the network and all the HYPCs that were married to those, uh, to those uh, master nodes. So we have more than 82 million HYPC uh, liberated into those master nodes. You can also check with this little green arrow uh, the contract on Etherscan and you can see uh, what's been happening on this uh, on this EDP? You can see the total amount of tokens that are uh, within the contract of the EDP. Um, so this is a verifiable data. And the novelty is that we are also tracking the V2 um, V2 nut factories that are basically the um, the nut factories that were migrated from V1 to V2 that you all created. So each time someone is creating a node factory, you can track it and we can count how many HYPC were married to uh, each node factory. So we have a total of uh, more than 63 million HYPC uh, liberated into node factories. And you can see that we have been tracking node factories creation since January 2024. Uh, we are now on uh, March 2025 um, and we can track how many uh, not factory uh, are created uh, on a monthly basis. Uh, also note that we are tracking not factories, but that doesn't say that doesn't say how big the not factory are, right? So you can see that 63 million for more than 4,000 not factories is a good score uh, on average because it means that people are, are creating big not factories and, and not only just uh, level 10 not factories. Otherwise, uh, the number would be uh, far lower than that. So that's a total of almost uh, 150 million HYPC deployed in node factories. And we want to, to have this uh, number uh, go up, obviously. So thanks again for your support in, in, uh, in creating all those node factories. Uh, and we are here to help you create more. Um, you can also scroll down this, um, this stats page and you can see how the, mostly the master nodes uh, are behaving, have been behaving since the EDP started. Um, the average um, starting date of the EDP is one year one year and five months, uh, and 20, 21 to 22 days. Um, this is when the EDP program was announced. And you can see that uh, most of the master nodes have uh, a good uh, uptime to downtime ratio. We are close to 95%. So this is a, this is a good score. And you can see, you can click on, on one node and see how live it's been reporting to the network. Um, so this is something we can use also internally to check that everything is running smoothly. And you have most of the relevant information uh, on this page. This is something I use personally. This is something I know the, the, the marketing team is using as well. So whenever you want to show uh, your, your friends how live the network is, you can use this. Whenever you want to check uh, for yourself what's happening on your license, what's happening on the network, you can go to this, uh, to this tool and you can see if something is wrong uh, with the network, if the network is done, which is uh, obviously not the case, the network hasn't been done. Um, but uh, you have the proof and you can verify for yourself. This is, uh, this is what uh, you know, blockchain, uh, blockchain is, right? Uh, so now you have a tool to, to play with uh, on your own and you can check everything that we, we are seeing. Uh, 
All right, this is all for now. I'm going to let you play with this tool and share your feedback uh, on Telegram if you want to. Um, we will also show you the progress uh, on this Explorer because we have uh, some exciting things to, to show you in the next month. So stay tuned and let's meet again uh, on, uh, on Telegram.